Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Catia tutorial number 34. In this tutorial, we will learn about the Caudal Fillet tool. On the left hand side, we have Catia V5 window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the tutorial which you can write down. So this is our part workbench and these are the part tools on the right interface and here at the top interface, this is the fillet tool and Caudal Fillet tool and by clicking at the bottom arrow, we will get the different type of fillet tools here. This is edge fillet tool and this is variable radius fillet tool which we learned in our previous videos and this is the caudal fillet tool. We can reach to caudal fillet tool by going to insert then dress up feature and here we have the caudal fillet tool. Caudal fillet tool works similarly as the variable radius fillet tool. It is also used to provide variable fillet radius along the edge but the only difference is that in variable radius fillet tool we provide the fillet radius and here we will provide the caudal length let us see how it works let's select the tool from here now select the edge to fillet now give the caudal length here now we can see that instead of fillet radius we are providing the caudal length here we can edit the caudal length by simply editing it from here or we can also just by clicking on the screen and then just clicking on the edge here let's click the parameter here and we can just edit it from here by just simply clicking at the parameter and then we can edit it from here like we can see that the second parameter is not changing but this parameter is changing and the color also has been changed to orange orange color represents that this color is being selected to edit so now let's change it to 633 and by single clicking at the parameter we can just change the parameter here as I'm changing it to 20 or I can also add some more points to the edge to add some more variable caudal fillet length by just going to points here just select the point and then with the single click of the mouse we can add some more points to vary the fillet radius or caudal length along the edge and we can change it by just single clicking it over here and then changing it from the table or we can also edit the parameters by double clicking on the parameter and this dialog box will appear so we can just feed the parameter here as I am feeding it 55 just double click on the parameter and we can change it to 35 let's double click the parameter and change it to 10 so this is how we can add some more points to the edge and vary the caudal length along the edge and by clicking ok we can see that we have created like let's preview it so we can see that we have created a variable caudal length fillet along the edge like we did in the case of variable radius fillet here here in this case now let's ok so here is the caudal fillet operation to edit the caudal fillet operation just double click on the operation over here or you can also double click it from the part tree now let us see if we add some more edges at the same time just select the edge now select one more edge select this edge also but we will see that while editing the parameter over here it will just edit the latestly selected edge and will not edit the previously selected edge as it was in case of edge fillet that by just changing the parameter at once you are you were able to change the parameters of every selected edge but it's not in this case it will only just edit the parameter of latestly selected edge as in this case is this edge so we can see that every other parameter is not changing but just this parameter is changing let's prove it we can just provide or we can just edit the parameter 
by just clicking on these parameters here and just then providing the parameter individually so this is how the caudal fillet works and this is the difference between the edge fillet and the caudal fillet that in case of edge fillet by just changing the parameters at once we were able to change the parameter of every selected edge but this is not in the case of caudal fillet in caudal fillet we need to change the parameter of every edge individually even though we selected all the edges at once i hope you like this video and thanks for watching this video